Hi there, Pat Tasker, your local market expert. It has been some time since we have um, chatted about the real estate market and what I find from most people is they think that the conditions are terrible out there and there's nothing um, going on. So uh, I can assure you that is far from the truth. I've been super busy. And today I wanted to bring you the um, top selling municipalities in our area and how long it's been taking for those homes that go on in that area to um, get an accepted offer. So the average time from going on MLS to getting an accepted offer in our market area has averaged 1.4 months. So that is definitely a seller's market. So there are more buyers than houses. And I have a whole theory on, um, well not theory, it's based in uh, facts on why that is. So stay tuned for a future episode. Um, but here are the top selling municipalities in the Milwaukee metro area for the month of May. So at number 10 was Muskego at 29 days. Number nine was New Berlin at 27 days. Number eight was Greenfield at 25 days. Number seven, Brookfield at 23 days. Number six was Cudahy at 19 days. Number five was West Dallas, who also had the most amount of homes sold of 48 in the month of May, and they averaged 17 days on the market. Actually, they tie for that place with West Dallas and Oak Creek and McGuanago at 17 accepted offers in the month of May. Uh, number two was South Milwaukee at 12, and tied for number one was Richfield and Greendale at 11 days on the market. So um, if you have your house ready and it looks great, it's going to sell fast. What I have noticed is those that don't sell in that shorter period will linger, and then sellers are trying to catch up and make the house better, make it more appealing, and it's better to just have it good to go when you go on the market so it sells fast and then your period of showings is much shorter and less painful. Um, but as far as everything that's going on in the market, um, we had our sales were down a little bit again in May with um, sales down 26.8% over May of the year before. So of course that all has to do with COVID and um, unemployment and the number of people out looking because they don't feel safe looking. And uh, But it's still much, much more people out there than you would expect. But we have 507 fewer homes sold in the month of May this year than last year. So we had 1,382 total sales. Uh, the median sale price was up um, 4% over last year from 250,000 to 259,900. Uh, new listings were down 27%. So we had 695 fewer listings this month in May this year than last year. We only had 1,922 new listings go on and May is usually our biggest month. So what's happening is that um, they're saying that our year is gonna slide into the middle to end of the year. So our what we normally have um, for our spring market is really gonna happen in our summer market because so many people were holding back because of the virus or um, because of job situations. Uh, but it will be getting better and it will be busy for the uh, summer. So from now until October, and then guess what? <laughs> It'll be the election and everyone will be oh, paralyzed by all the excitement that goes with the national election. But our, the news was May was better than April, so that's good. And um, we had 1,500 fewer new listings in April and May than we did um, the year before in that same time frame. But... Uh, we had a great start to the year, January, February, and March were gangbusters, and then the middle of March hit, and the COVID hit, and uh, it started slowing down. But we are on the mend. Uh, they say that real estate is what will really help the economy. Um, I've heard it said that we're the straw that stirs the drink, um, which the drink, the economy, the straw is real estate. And so I'm really proud to be part of the industry that will help in that recovery. Um, and I can see that it is happening because it is super busy out there. So uh, next uh, episode is going to be the three kisses of death 
in how to uh, write an offer and not get it accepted. So if you know someone who's out there trying to buy a home, tune in because that is going to be an important one of what you should not write in your offer if you are trying to buy a home in today's seller's market. It's super strong. Uh, and then I'll have some more updates for you as time goes on. But I know what I'm finding is most people think the economy is terrible and real estate is also terrible. But what I can tell you, it is far from that. And uh, we are going to lead the charge. So June is Home Ownership Month. And um, it really is a great uh, American dream for most people. So if I can help you or someone you know achieve that dream, please give me a call. Pat Tasker, Shore West, for a smooth move. 414-588-4907. Thanks.